no additional bonus. Man, that trinket's not that good. Maybe just dismiss his head. Yeah, I'm okay with that. Why do I have three focus rings? Definitely don't need those anymore. All right, we'll call this good. Although I could go with the full range set again. I think I'd rather have the duelist advance so I can swap them around when I want to. And yeah, this'll do. We'll keep Impale equipped for this one. Let's do it. Off to the courtyard once more. Shabam, shabam, shaboing. Not necessary. I know it. Don't worry about it. I just got so much money. So much extra cash. I just love throwing it around at everything that seems completely useless. Can't help myself. Speaking of throwing money around, why don't you head on over to madrinacoffee.com slash bear taffy. Use the code bear coffee. 40% off anything in the online store. It's so good. Mmm. There we go. Takes all of my effort to open the can for some reason, but there it is. Mmm, mmm, mmm. That tasty morning energy to get you through the day. No blood, no blood necessary. We won't get the curse. Said the man who was guaranteed to get the curse. The very grounds themselves are animated by a deep-rooted evil. A cosmic hatred for all that thrive beyond its tainted grasp. I don't know, it seems okay to me, Wayne. Maybe you just need a better attitude about it. Is that a new Wayne? It might be a new Wayner, yeah, I don't know. So glad I came prepared today. Finding the stuff is only the first test. Now it must be carried home. Don't do dodge builds unless you're smacking some hound masters in there. I mean, I do. I do smack some hound masters in here. I got the guard dog. He's got. Oh my goodness, what is going on here? Risk taker? Oh no! That's not what I wanted to see from him. God damn it. This dungeon does seem pretty bright. Yeah, I don't know. He just seems like he's a little misinformed. You just want to hear Wayne say, you got the stuff, I got the money. Look, Wayne's beyond that. That was an old Wayne. The new Wayne, who was also old Wayne, would never stoop so low. There it is. I didn't even check percentages. You have returned. Christopher Rock! All Waynes are old, fair enough. Different from a little Wayne. Very true. Here's my favorite little Wayne line. He's a real real scholar of the arts. From his feature on a Nicki Minaj song, it goes like I never fucked Nicki. That's fucked up. Possessed by evil intent. If I did, she'd be fucked up. Really one of the more brilliant minds of uh hip hop. In our modern day and age, little Wayne, I really you gotta, you gotta show, show respect, credit where credits due. You don't get it? Oh, that's just a little Wayne line. It's oh, it's okay if you don't get it. You know, it's pretty complex. Feeble minds can't possibly comprehend the depth of little Wayne's lyrics. Yep. I don't need that. What am I doing? <laughs> I just want to get rid of all of it. Brilliant place. Did I detect that? I think I did. Ancient Stop letting him get hit, Bear. Wait. And he won't eat anymore. And thirsting for blood. Well, ain't this a problem? A little waner, if you will. I will indeed. I won't now. I'm mad. That's because I allowed you to say that. That's my punishment. That's my comeuppance. I don't know why. I just hate those guys in particular. I always want them to die first. Probably pre-programmed into my head because of the invitations. Wow. Hey, I didn't get cursed from that, so... You know, they're 0 for 1. That makes me feel good. Maybe we could leave the Houndmaster alone for even just a fucking second, though. Thanks. Good job, buddy. 
Okay, you don't have yourself heal equipped. This is horrible. Wow. Help. Destroyed. Much better. Hey, Pseudo. Welcome back. Good to see you. I'm going to go ahead and heal him. Perfect. That's why we love the occultist, everybody. No bleed, no nothing. Just, just stop it. You stop right now. Adder's kiss, right there. Done. Nailed it. Try this out. See if it prevents damage here. Because I want to allow one more heal. This is how a life is taken. Oh, you got to miss. Thank you. Okay, that's all we needed. You do this. And, uh, low odds of killing him. Hey, for once, that's what I actually wanted. There we go. Playing out in my favor, finally. Confidence surges as the enemy crumbles. Hi, Bear, I'm drunk. What are fun things to do besides watching TV.twitch slash television slash Bear Taffy while drunk? I might be drunk, too, based on the way I read that. First of all, hi drunk, I'm dad. Second of all, I think you're doing pretty much the right thing. As long as it's not 10.30 in the morning where you are like it is where I am. I think maybe that's... That's questionable, but... I don't know. Don't let me tell you how to live your life. Drink some water, too. That's a good idea. If you're drinking, make sure you stay hydrated. <laughs> stay hydrated, button. Get on out there. Get on the job, buddy. Also, it's a brilliant sentence. I recognize that. What am I going to lose for these, though? I guess that second campfire? What if I just go ahead and camp out? I can't do that. Ah, damn it. Hail hydrate. Fuck it. Fuck it. I really should camp. I mean, I was going to camp out anyway. I might camp out twice. A moment of respite. A chance to steel oneself against the coming horrors. Get double the buffs, double the fun. Um, sure. And then... Let's give her... Hmm. I'll take clean guns. No, that's gonna affect... I want the duelist advance, I think, to be activated the most. So let's do unparalleled finesse. And I like snake skin quite a bit. Dark strength is quite good too, though. And she can, oh, she can do the one that pierces through the guard. Oh, she, she's going to be so good. Oh, damn it. Oh, no. I thought I was safe! Obliterated. I thought I'd be okay! Decimated. Doomed! Doomed! Welcome to the bear pile. Bowler! It's the end, Bowler! Run while you can! Oh, never mind, we're okay. Good job, everybody. Bear hugs, please. Thank you very much for the uh, subscription with Twitch Prime. Whoa, okay. That's actually scary shit. Let's use this. Good God. Crit. Close. Impale now. Seems pretty good. They literally were luring me into a false sense of security, yeah. I should probably just debuff that. Alright, remove that debuff, rather. Yeah, I think I will. Give us the accuracy buff here real quick as well. Good shit. Destroy them all. Um, the pole only hits her, so this sadly is not a good option. So we'll just do that. A momentary USB, hey there. Like the shoe, welcome back. And Remmers, good to see you, everybody. Thank you very much for joining me again. 
Point blank. Houndmaster with the mark there, too. Nice. I really gotta re uh, set up their skills again, though. Let's try to take advantage of the uh, specific things we can use against Mr. Garden Guardian over there. Dapper Gen, hey there. The wounds of war can be healed, but never hidden. It went a lot better than I thought it would. So long as I'm able to deal with this. And just heal off that. A decisive pummeling. Is that? It's not going to stick around as long as I want it to. Oh well. I got to let him bleed out. And I think the Houndmaster might deal too little damage to even... Oh, well, never mind. We don't have to worry about it. Bam, bam, got it, done, go. Perfect. Now you're dead. As the fiend falls, a faint hope blossoms. What do you think about the en endless harvest balance? I haven't had the chance yet to go in there, so I'll uh, let you know once I have that personal experience with it. I gotta keep the crests over everything I just now remembered. Yeah, we've only got really the red hook to worry about, although I guess I can get the other buildings constructed up as well. But, I mean, I know where my priorities are. Let's be, let's be real. Okay. Clearing out this last little curio here, then we'll go back and do that second campfire and make sure we're good to go. Cool. Good work. That's why we wanted that. Recently picked up this game and I've encountered the collector five times within my first ten missions. Am I cursed? Yeah, sorry, it's because you watched me before you bought it. The game installs a little script. Knows you've had some first-hand experience with the failure that you can expect, so, you know, just trying to get you up Circle to speed. The dark. The battle may yet be won. Yeah, I, mean, I should warn people, really. There should be a thing that pops up, like, with the mature audience's warning, like, Warning! If you plan on buying Darkest Dungeon after watching this guy, be prepared to be sad! So sad! Oh, no. That's, that's literally what it says verbatim. Returned. Like, S-O-O-O, -O -O, sad. And then, oh, no. Prolar! Twelve months in a row. Well, I'll be damned. As will I. Wait a minute. The buffs don't carry over? You can't stack the buffs of the campfire? Why not? I want to stack the bus from campfire. That's some bullshit. They fixed that a long time ago. That's some bullshit. I don't like it. Nah, fine. Fine. Whatever. All right. Well, we're doing pretty good here, anyway. Or uh, anyway. Several buffs on the highwayman here. I'll probably just go ahead and pop these right away. And like I said, I got to make sure I got all the right skills here. So, you are uh, gonna maybe maybe mark them. Actually, you know what? Yeah, they all have protection, so the target whistle might be very effective here. I don't have the special steer, uh, spear tip equipped though. Nor am I gonna use captivate. So maybe that's not the best option at the moment. I'm not going to impale. Puncture is for sure the way to go because she can bypass guard with that. And moves her forward too, so she's probably going to stick to the front. Marks are shite. Yeah, here at least they're not that great. Although it's a party that could have benefited from it had I planned a little bit better around that. But right now that's not going to make a difference. So I think I've still got the same setup for him. You may need to have that. Yeah, lowering curse even, or lowering protection even further makes sense. And then I suppose that's all we're going to have for him. But I guess I should have that too. But maybe he'll get shuffled. Yeah, I don't think he'll get shuffled around. I don't think it's likely, so let's do that. All right, cool. Sounds good. Let's do it. Hey, first old thing. Team's doing pretty good. The Hamlet cannot stand for this thing that should not be. Defeat it. Claim the prize it guards. Hmm. Oh, wow. I didn't even realize that would be a feature of that. Yeah, shit. And it's a 500% base chance, so it completely is guaranteed to remove the guard potential for two rounds. 
That's really good. Holy shit. Okay, which means that I definitely want to try to uh, do the thing that will uh, damage him the most here. I should get the repost up, I suppose. I should start with tracking shot, though. That's nearly... Well, it is basically guaranteed. Yeah, that is wild. Reducing his protection, of course, would be very helpful, too. But he does have a ton of debuff resistance, too, I guess. So I can't really count on that. In fact, I can't count on that at all. Yeah, I can't even do it. Straight up. So that's not going to happen. Nor is that going to happen to this thing. Damn, we are limited in our options here. I guess... Just... A little bit of help with the blood fount. And then he's going to be dedicated to healing for the most part, which might be necessary. Lots of stress, too. So, while he's open, of course, priorities change. But again, I'm not using the skill that would uh, benefit from the mark. I think Pierce is still the way to go. I'm not going to blight him, so that's obviously not the choice. I guess we just do that. And then we get the repose going. Nice. Azure, hello, welcome back. Things missing two hands. Easy fight. Easy money. I didn't even use the dog biscuit. I'm an idiot. Oh, hi, Mark. This is the occultist job until he has to heal something, is to slowly whittle away at this thing. Okay. I should go ahead and give her a couple Aegises, I guess. Oh, well, that sucks. I didn't even know they could do that. Well, I really don't want a point-blank shot now, so let's just move. I guess that was worse. <laughs> that was, oh, that was a little silly. I'm going to move back, though. And then hopefully move back with him, and that's like the entire turn, which is shitty, but that's what I got to do here. I don't know why I did that. All right. I got to keep her up front, I'm realizing now. Point-blank never helps. Maybe heal a little bit now, I guess. Okay, that's good. Puncture again. I guarantee that I... Don't let him guard, but that's a lot of damage that I can do right now. And now I can go ahead and reset the repost one more time. And hopefully, she'll get first action. And now I don't need to worry about the mark again. Let's go ahead and boost up with the dog treat, the though. That's better. You know, point blank shot on nothing at all, exactly. See, that's what I'm also kind of worried about, though. Maybe makes me debate actually activating this. But that's why I wanted to activate it in the first place, so hopefully that'll happen more. Really inconvenient shuffling. I guess I gotta start doing that anyway. I'll probably just take a heal here. I'm not gonna stun anybody. This is bad. I'm just gonna do this. Boost his dodge up for a couple turns. And heal it up. <laughs> Look at me, I'm a guardian. You almost got it. You almost got it. I can't spam the occultist debuff. He's got so much debuff resistance, they all do. Nothing I can do with that. I didn't even think about that before I went in. That does pretty good, okay. I'm almost halfway there. Oh, she can do puncture from that spot. That's pretty great. I had no idea that was even an option. I'll go ahead and bandage that, I guess. I should have done it before, though. And she'll puncture one more time to move him back to spot three. Let's go ahead and heal up a little bit. Ah, man. He really need a Vestal for this. Cultist just is not the way to go. Okay. Sort of crappy. Hey, Zelk, I'm doing well. Chubbs is sleepy. He's got himself his little human bed set up downstairs. He's loving it. Boost the dodge again. Fuck it. And heal him up. Yep, there we go. Should have probably used that last bandage. But now I definitely need it. Oh, boy. He can't be guarded, but he's guarded by the stone shield. You know how it works. The ground quakes. Maybe that'll work now. Am 
One heal here. That's good. That's good. He's actually going down pretty quick, too. That's another bleed there. Oh, boy. Now, let's do this again, I guess. Yeah. Can't help but want to continue to activate the repost, even though it's questionable. And then let's get that for sure. Honestly, it'd be a lot cooler if you just killed that shield first, Bear. Really? You think so? Oh, man. I do want to be cool. Shoot. You guys think I'd be cool if I killed the shield? Would you guys respect me then? Oh, man. Maybe I got to do it. It is scary. Oh, shit! Give them no quarter. What about killing the spear first? Is that cool? Alright, I'll kill the shield. You guys, you guys want it so bad. Fair enough. After that, go attack Wilbur too. Oh, yeah, that'd be cool, huh? That'd be way cool. I'm gonna guard the guy that has repost. Because <laughs> I'm terrified of him doing too much damage. Ollie, I don't want to be a nerd. You're right. Ah, oh, shoot. I really don't want to be a nerd. Uh-oh. And there we go. Coolness is for losers. Impressive. Hell yeah, dude. Hell yeah. Live your best life. Oh, yes! Let's go. I'm gonna end up killing the shield just out of spite. Oh, Welcome back. Or accident. General Krunk! 15 months in a row. Welcome back, Bear Hugs. Please, thank you very much, buddy. Appreciate you. Puncture it. You ain't getting guarded, buddy. No, sir. No, sir! Who in here isn't a nerd? Can I get a bear yay if you're a big fat nerd? Maybe just like a regular size nerd, or even like a, a small nerd. Any variety of nerd, really. Oh, shit! The nerd fuel of crit! That'll do. I'll fight the guy who called me a nerd. Fight me at PAX. Vial of Sand for the Occultist, I believe... We do have his other one, so there's our set. Stun skill, debuff skill, and move skill chance bonus with a bonus to his resistance as well. That's pretty good. That's really good. Nice. I'm excited. Okay, let's go check it out. We don't respect you now, Bear, but I got an achievement, though. Look. Oh. Cool. That means, oh, that must mean I got my occultist to level six. How have I not done that yet? That's shocking. But yeah, there he goes. Oh, no, that's level five. So then how did I get it? What? That's weird. Okay. This mission does give you a lot of experience, true. Yeah, but... Huh. I thought it was at the level six. Well, I mean, I already beat the Guardian, so... Oh, shit! Welcome to the bear pile. In the air. The wolves are at the door. Chill, Reeve! Gifting the sub to Wind Queen! Now you're a nerd, Wind Queen. Yes, indeed. And oh, baby, the wolves are at the door! Can I get some roo-roo-roos and wowies in chat for the wolves at the door, please? Woo-woo-woo-woo-woo-woo! <laughs> Brigand Roof! We must acquire the tassel. I need to get my revenge on this motherfucker. He has been ruining my life. I gotta uh, send some people to the to the brig first. The commitment ward. Let's go with Zeno. Cannot go any of these places. Locor also can't. Hold on, let's make it simple. Howard! Howard! Mix him up. Bear versus Wolf. Fight of the century. Yes. We all know who's gonna who's gonna end up victorious in this one now. Last gray wolf. Who shall it be? 
going up against Brigan Wolf. Stay hydrated, bot. I feel like he's got to make the cut. He's got to get up there. So let's maybe put him at spot two for now. Love having a Vestal. Feel like that's a pretty safe play. Let's go ahead and throw her in the mix. An Arbalist seems fun. Maybe even a Musketeer. Depending on which one has better quirks, really. Ooh, she's Eagle Eye. That's going to win out. Renovaralis. All the way. And then finally. Perhaps Katrina's Entrails? For a small bit of Mark's synergy? Perhaps our Crusader for a little bit of stress relief. Or perhaps a frontline occultist to really fuck shit up. Hmm. Ooh, a shield breaker. Not a bad idea going up against the Wolf. <laughs> Bear yay. <yeah. laughs> I don't think Bear has gotten either of the box trinkets this playthrough. Ah, oh, yeah! Fair point. Yeah, we've gone, gone up against our uh, handful of madmen, too. Yeah, we haven't seen uh, either Arya or... or I don't remember what the boxes are called, actually, because I haven't seen them yet. Leper would be nice, wouldn't it? I think I'll probably go ahead and toss uh, the shield breaker in there. Are there three box trinkets? Yeah, there might be. Arya and Crescendo. An overture. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. That's right. Okay. I did kind of want to go occultist just to use those new trinkets, but I think this is going to be the way to go. There are madmen in the Wolf mission, so you might get one here. Oh, well, there we go. Timely. Ooh, should, we, should we give her her set? I think this might be the first time we get to use it. 25% protection bonus. Adds to her healing skills significantly. Lowers her stress received. More damage versus marked targets. Debuff and move skill chance. Buttercup Supreme! Welcome back for two months in a row. Thank you very much for that resub. Appreciate it. Bear hugs, please. Scroll in Jania's head. I want to just keep people alive here. Now, mirror shield. Man at arms. I mean, this is just a no-brainer, really, every time I do it. And then that, yeah. I'm feeling good. Spectral Spear Tip is always tempting. But this set is nice. Oh, wait, she can't be guarded if we do this, though. But she does have her Aegis. This is like the anti volf team. Look at this shit. I mean, Impale is going to be a questionable add-on late game here, but... Man at Arms with all this stuff? Might swap off, like, Bolster for Crush. And uh, we'll keep Command, I assume. No Battle Vestal this time. We gotta swap those around. And then she's gonna have her Bola equipped. No Mark Synergy here. There it is. Let's do it. Do I need to check anything here with the camping skills? I don't think so. I think we're set. Full stacks of everything. I ain't fucking around. Bringing the Laudanum. All the shovels. All the torches. Shard dust. Fuck it. Maybe we need keys, too. There we go. No stress heals. We don't need it. We don't need it. Crusader would be uh, the take in place of Shieldbreaker, but Shieldbreaker for this fight seems real nice. Mm. Please no sex the shard dust. Don't knock it till you try it. Let's go. The wolf! The wolf is on fire! <clears throat> wow, that burp kind of timed well with the spawn of that heavy <laughs> set. <laughs> you almost didn't even hear it, I bet. Mess him up, bear. Hey, bear, I made a therapist giggle. Well, that's wonderful, Velasco. That's a pleasant sentence. You heard? All right, damn it. I thought it was, I thought it was sugar-coated. It kind of was, actually. I had Chips Ahoy cereal for breakfast. Mm-mm. Nummy. 
Hey, Inislav. The way is lit. The path is clear. We require only the strength to follow it. I just imagine the man at arms burping really loudly, echoing so far to awaken the squad of bandits, and now I can't stop laughing. <laughs> Continue the onslaught. Destroy them all. The squad of heroes from the from the village sent out to Give them no quarter. combat the the villainous brigand wolf. Trying to stealthily, stealthily make their way through the corridors and dilapidated roadways. How quickly the tide turns. When the man at arms can't help but to let out a heroic belch. These nightmarish creatures can be felled. They can be beaten. And awaken a sleeping guard two blocks away. Burp so hard he debuffs the enemies. That's literally what this skill is. You can see it coming from his mouth, the, the, the belch. Be gone! Ooh! Wow! Thanks! Alright. Someone left a lot of stuff in that tent. Someone was in a real hurry to get the fuck out of here, clearly. Ooh! Speaking of madmen. John Ham's here. Hey, John. The decisive bubbling. Great joke, Bear. Great joke. Can I, get, can I get a clap for that? That was, that was a good joke. Top tier comedy. Squid punishment. The birthplace of dread. Happy Ham Thursday. Happy Ham Thursday, everybody. Lays your raise your either lays glaze or raise your lion roasted in chat, please for. A happy ham Thursday for all. How's Grandpa Bear doing today? I mean, his buddy's right here on screen. We'll have to ask. Hey, ba hey Grandpa Bear, you ever meet the madman? He said he is the madman. That doesn't make me feel good. Are you sure you didn't voice him? That's not me. I don't, I don't, that's Grandpa Bear in a well. I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, you're talking about the actual madman. I wish I did. Confidence surges as the enemy crumbles. That'd be great for the uh, for the old resume there. Eradicated. I do have a few of these characters on my on my sheet though, so that feels good. Welcome to the bear pile. Undead Hippo! Madman gifting another subscription to Undead Hippo. Their formation is broken. Maintain the offensive. Tenth one in the channel. Thank you, buddy. Appreciate that very much. Thank you for the bear hugs as well. Welcome them on in. Appreciate it. Do, 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 do. There we go. Maybe give us a chance to heal up again here. Oh, never mind. Is the weapon that cuts on its own. Uh, not that I really need to, I guess. All set. Which characters did I voice? I uh, did the, the the wandering boss. This is going to be minor spoilers. That's why I'm kind of hesitant here. Uh, the wandering boss, the fanatic, was voiced by me, uh, along with a few of the Crimson Court bosses, the Baron, the Viscount. Oh my god, I'm brain farting so hard. I got squid punished. The madness, the horror. Not the Countess, although the Darkest Dungeon Wiki would have you believe as much. I kind of like letting that rumor spread, too. <laughs> Ugh. And like several of the, just the mobs, too, I do a lot of the voices for that. Now the hag is Elspeth. This is how a life is taken. Shavras! There he is. How you doing, buddy? Did you do the Alamigator? No, nah, I didn't do the Alamigator. Yeah, Elspeth did the hag. I, I like to spread that knowledge around. 
Listen for her the next time you get into that fight. I bet you'll hear it. She did a great job. Do, 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 do. Boom! As the fiend falls, a faint hope blossoms. Job, Russ! Yeah, I heard that! The new WoW add-on has a Darkest Dungeon quest line. I was very happy to see that. I saw several references to it on the, uh, the subreddit this morning. That is really awesome. They have, like, an ancestor named Wayne. The, uh, the quest line apparently begins with, like, a letter that you receive. And it says, like, ruin has come to our family or something like that. It's, it's great. That made me real happy. Can you say some of your lines for the chat? Yeah, here, let me hit you with this. How's that? That's why they gave me the big bucks. <laughs> He's all about squid punishment today. You got the weirdest boner right now. It's funny, that's what the audio director said to me after I did that. Keep going, Bear Daddy. Uh, crit? Oh, Blizz isn't acknowledging my stuff. No, heaven forbid you get that twisted. I had nothing to do with it. I'm just saying I'm, I'm really happy to see the Blizzard uh, the included a Darkest Dungeon questline in, uh, in the expansion. I had nothing to do with it. Yeah, not me. Yeah, thank you. I just need to, need to make sure I'm never getting credit for things. <laughs> that's, that's my top priority usually. You need to die too. There we go. Hey there, boss. It's going well today. I, uh, a pretty decent garden guardian fight. I think the shield breaker needs to be nerfed, to be honest with you. Like, you kind of got me in that line of thinking really quickly here, but I, I'm I'm sticking with that. Seize this momentum. Push on to the task's end. I think she's too strong, man. Like, I've been bringing her so much. She can do so much damage. There's a shield breaker nerf mod, really. That tells you a lot. Well, that's good to hear like this shoe. I like making you a happy shoe. That was a disappointing result there, but oh well. I know, yeah, Zen, but honestly, like. I don't know, like, I don't know how you would nerf her either. I'm trying to think about that too. I do have one with two Corvids works admittedly so maybe she's a little bit stronger than most but um I don't know I don't really want to theory craft it I just feel like you know the nightmares are a balancing factor right she is a little bit above average but then you're like oh but she has to deal with the nightmares so that's that's the trade off it's not that bad like, the fights are hard, yeah, but after that, it's nothing. Literally nothing. You don't have to deal with anything else anymore. Oh, yeah. I should have let him, let this guy finish that one off and didn't even think about it. Uh, let's do a command. For fun. I had a leper with the stealth thing where you can hit stealth minions, then it disappeared because I couldn't lock it in. Oh, rip. That stinks. I need to focus on quirks more. In my in my, in mine campaign. It is something I tend to neglect. Hey, Bear, got any tips for the fanatic? I didn't run into him once during this campaign, so I couldn't tell you really. Like, I don't know if he's even been changed all that much since the patch. But we didn't see him, did we? We didn't really get into a lot of situations where I would see him, admittedly, so... That's part of the reason, I guess. I think, really, though, like, a, a team similar to this would probably be pretty good for the Fnatic as well. This is kind of like a hag team as well. I think you want to build in a similar way. Best fanatic strat is to retreat. Yeah, there you go. The bigger the beast, the 
greater the glory. Yep. Is bolster on man at arms any good? It was pre yesterday. <laughs> I mean, it is still pretty good, but I tend to not use it as a uh, as a normal dungeon skill. But it was really good in the endless mode when you have the full round the buff with it. Is struck. A blazing star is born. <laughs> I did enjoy voicing the fanatic. Yeah, it was a lot of fun. All right, let's do it. That's a fine start. And let's see. I can't blight him, right? I don't know. I mean, it's a possibility. I don't want to move her back right now, though. So I suppose I could start with this. Might be a wise choice. And then I'll get his retribution up right away. You have returned. Viro Fing! Let's do it. Indeed. I'm gonna take a chance on this. Alright, that sucks. Got our speed buff at least, though, and then... What do we get? Suck my balls! Stun the man-at-arms! Alright, then. Damage Reflection 2 is gonna be fantastic. Ah, uh, not gonna stun this guy. He's actually got pretty low resistance across the board, I'm surprised. Hydration! Consume water! The light. The promise of safety. Gulp. Okay. Oh, I don't get to repost off that. I do reflect the damage, though. Oh, shit. That's really nice. I'm also very glad I have this equipped now. But what I'm also going to do devastating blow. is get her out of the way so he can take it. I'm just going to heal him real quick with both. This is the best team for this fight ever. Brilliant confluence of skill and purpose. This is the best Wolf team of all time. We're going to be, like, untouched for this. Mm-hmm. Doesn't get rid of the Aegis. You know what they say about overconfidence. It makes you look really good when you're right about it. That's what they say. I love that. Any stress is going to become a problem, though. Ooh, I did get to repost that one for some reason. I don't know why. The, oh, I was stunned for the first one. That's why. Okay, so now I got to get the guard in the back. She'll move forward, and that's fine. Those two are almost fucking dead. That's crazy. And same strategy. The wounds of war can be She's got her healing buff, too. This is so good. Big heal. I am not concerned. And that was a complete waste of a skill from him. The slow death. Unforeseen. Unforgiving. I miss out on probably one repost here, I guess. You why? Okay, leave him with one. You stole my strategy. Okay, I gotta re-guard now. Actually, I could move the Vestal forward, but that would give up her heal, of course. Hmm. You're dead, right? Yeah, you're already dead. I'm gonna try this. That's a lot of damage. That's very good. And... Gotta do that. I got bamboozled. I did. Yeah, I didn't realize that could happen, honestly. The blood quickens. At least midway through the fight here. He keeps wasting turns. I love it. I'm tempted to group heal, but this is definitely the way to go. Oh my goodness! Let's go! A death. That's fine. That is really acceptable, actually. Holy shit. Seven damage on the man-at-arms. Perfect. He dodged it! And then he took it anyway, but you know what? Fine. Uh, oh, I'll have her Aegis. And she's just gonna block it. And now I can finally get another Retribution up. 
36 heal. Where's your occultist now? That's right. That's right, motherfucker. Who needs it? Not this one. Not today. Surely rigged. Oh, damn. Oh, here we go. All right. No, that's that's not what I thought it was. But still, we're resisting so much of that stress somehow. Blocked, bitch! Oh, sure. Do it again. See how it goes. Really well, I'm sure. I'm sure this would be perfect. Ah, damn it. He's doing that war cry. Really not a lot of stress, though. Let's go. See ya! A trifling victory. But a victory nonetheless. GG. GG. I don't need that. We gotta get greedy, baby. Go loot hunting. I think we need three shovels for this. No, just two. Okay, we good. We good. Trifling victory, yeah. Hmm. All right. All right. I mean, I could... I could go... over to the left real quick. Although I might need another shovel for that. Let's go find out. It's a dark tambourine. Yeah, it's fancy. Pretty sure I need a shovel. Yeah, I do. Rip. Oh well. Bear greedy in this game? Never seen <laughs> what? No. Stupid. Absurd. Never seen that. Oh baby. I'll go ahead and retribution here now that they've both taken their actions. Seems perfect. Seems appropriate. A singular strike. You could circle around and skip the rubble. I guess that's true, yeah. Synthwave! Enjoying the darkest dungeon streams. Love you too. Thank you, buddy. Appreciate it. I should heal, I guess. While I'm ditzing around out here. Crit! Oh. Right there. Right there. There it is. Annihilated. I meant that one was going to crit, obviously. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. I'll just do it. Fuck it. Without tools of iron, you must rely on flesh and indefatigable purpose. Yay! All them crests. Which I can restack there, I guess. There we go. And another madman! Maybe I'll get the box here. Spleens! Big fan. He's a mad lad! Hey, Bear, when are you doing that Magic the Gathering Arena stream you were talking about yesterday? Uh, likely today. The thing is... They took out the draft mode yesterday. Or no, not yesterday. They took it out today. Must have been... Sorry, jeez. Must have been this morning. Because I remember Rob streaming it yesterday. And supposedly they're replacing it with a new draft mode, but it's not there yet. So, right now the only way to play MTG Arena is to do either... Constructed, free play, or constructed, competitive. 
the only modes available are constructed, so I kind of don't want to do that. I'm going to hope that the new draft modes show up soon. I'm going to wait until those arrive to do so. Yeah, because I, I, I really don't like constructed. No, thank you. That'd be an hour of pain. It's already going to be an hour of pain, but that would be an hour of torture. There we go. Still feel watching constructed is more fun, really. As victories mount, so too will resistance. Fair enough. I like the draft. I like the the randomness and the variables of the draft. The process of the draft itself I find fun too, even though I'm terrible at it. I don't know how. Like I actively make an effort not to be awful at drafting magic, but I'm still so bad. I start with an idea in mind of like, okay, that card looks awesome, so let's build a deck around that card. Or not necessarily around that card, because I already know people are cringing just at the very sentence I just uttered, but... You know, like, try to... try to keep a focus around the central idea that I start with, at least. And then another card shows up five rounds later that's like, oh, that looks so good. What if I did that instead? What if I maybe made a three card color three color deck? Oh, but maybe I need four colors now because of this card. And then you can see where this is going. In, in a bad direction. Usually. It's just yeah, it ends up being quite the catastrophic nightmare. Colors of madness indeed. But maybe you guys can help me with that. You have a five-color dragon deck. That sounds so fun! I want that! But I can't draft that is the thing. A powerful blow. I can't really realistically draft a five-color dragon deck. But I wanna. Success so clearly in view. And I wanna try. Or is it merely a trick of the light? It's a commander deck. Well, even less so then, yeah. Third madman, fourth in the fucking dungeon. Let's get a box, please. Yep. Festering Man, they're getting after the mind. One important thing in MTG drafting is to pay attention to the colors available. If there's no black cards available, you probably should just give up on playing black. Fair point, too, although you do draft against bots in MTG Arena, and I wonder how how intelligent they are about things. You have to assume that's probably one of the more basic things they're programmed to do, though, is figure out what colors are available. Block Nest Monster, hey there. That's convenient. How about another crit? Oh. I just want to kill you. I just want you dead. There he goes. Easy enough. Monstrous size has no intrinsic merit, unless inordinate exsanguination be considered a virtue. Sweet. No box though. Packs laden with loot are often low on supplies. All right then. That'll do, I guess. Wolf conquered. Tassel acquired. Chat is inordinate exsanguination of virtue. Barrier or Bernay. This is important research we need to find out. Seems the overwhelming consensus so far is that inordinate exsanguination not be considered a virtue. Although, oh, we're getting conflicting opinions here. And also a golden ch kappa check. We gotta get it at some point, don't we? I find the fact that we haven't yet inconceivable! You will no 
the tragic extent Ooh. of my failings. Ooh, baby. Here we go. Here we go. Double shards this week, boys. Let's go get them shards. Oh, she's got rabies? No, hold on. We can, we can leave that on her. That's all right. Off to the farmstead. We got to get them shards, baby. Oh, you can see the end game condition prior to even going in. Interesting. Reflection of decay this time. We'll have lowered healing skills. The monsters will have more stun and debuff resistance. Which means shield breaker. Again. I <laughs> can't help it, man. They're so damn good. I got to get rid of some stuff on her, though. Hard skinned. Hippocratic. That doesn't really help her at all. Tough, though. She's good. Shield breaker, baby. Can't stop, won't stop. Uh, how we doing on stress? Anybody... Having problems here? St. Kidney and Kid Spindler. Let's go commit them real fast. Shablam. Shabling. Shabuki. Oh, shit. Run of Aralis. Always gambling. A nominal pittance from the raving masses. Sarge! Sometimes darkness can show you the light. Thanks for the $2, buddy. Appreciate you. Okay. Kidneys committed. Would be Joe Farrar, which I'm happy with. You can go ahead and, uh, let's see. Xeno Paradox? Get the Highwayman in there again? Weak grip, unfortunately. Does kind of suck. He is deadly, though. So at least there's that. Oh, he gets more healing from the Vestal, too. I think I'll do that again. Level 3 Man at Arms. And a Vestal. Soltek. Right? No stress healing. Shit. Okay, not this. <laughs> I wanted to do Super Repose Squad. I still kind of want to. What if we do... Hmm. Ooh. Ooh, I like this. I did do DD1, yeah. Jestel, of course, not going to be any surprises back there, but... The double repose squad. I don't mind it. I think we can go with this. Yeah, it's not... Not all that exciting. But I think it's functional. Check him into the guild real quick. Survivalist. Yep, yep. Oh, hang on. Okay. Doesn't having germaphobe on the highwayman make it bad with the blight off the shield breaker? Well, yeah, no, no longer a consideration, though. We ain't gonna be blighting shit. Weak grip is the only thing that gives me pause on this highwayman, but he is the only other one that's gonna have a repost. That's kind of what I want to bank on here. So... No disease resist, no mortality debuff removal or disease cure. Very true. Might want to try to go for some disease resist in that vein, but maybe not. In fact, I seriously doubt it. I don't know when I've ever gone for disease, disease resist in our trinket build. Maybe maybe today should have been the day, but... Oh my god, if we had his repost... Dude, I need his set. I need it. I gotta find that too. This is the team I want to bring into the farmstead with their... Crimson Court trinket sets, because oh my god, they look so good. They look so, so good. Let me go ahead and boost... Our ranged... In our melee... With the Highwayman. I think this seems good. Extra 8% crit chance on everything. And then more damage. Isn't that right? Or maybe I could do... Well, hold on. What if I did... Candle... For the 15% base level on everything, and then... Let's go with, uh... Maybe the accuracy is more 
valuable, actually. I'm mostly concerned about that loss of crit chance, though. Could go with speed and dodge as well, and then he'd be looking really good. Dodging a lot of stuff from the repost is nice, too. Oh, yeah, the locket also is worth considering. He might have to be the one that takes it, actually, but I really like this for him. We could do this, since we still don't have the dirge for the devoured, and we can do this and give him... All right, yeah, he's got this. We can give him the Tyrant's Tasting Cup. This is such a silly trinket set. Oh, it's so weird. And let's go ahead and give him that. Oh, you want to go Dark Tambourine? That's not going to work here, though. We got to give him a Bright Tambourine, I think. Super Stress Healer. And then I think it's going to be the, uh, the Vestal that takes this. And that way she doesn't have to have so much stress received. Taking the scroll along with Junia's head. She'll just get a 30% buff, and I think that'll be fine. All right, then. Looks good to me. Let's make sure all the camping skills are set. Don't need that. Instruction is not necessary, I don't think. He's got all his correct ones, and then we're good to go there. Okay. Good. Let's do it. I think I'm ready. I'm going to take Dirk's stab this time for sure. And then, yeah, those are all good to go. Crush. See, here's the thing now. Bolster has been nerfed. No longer are we going to be able to use this at the beginning of every single wave and just have it carry through. Or, sorry, every single uh, set in the wave. I'm going to have to explain this as I go here because it's going to be confusing without the visual aid. But, needless to say, Bolster is no longer nearly as effective as it was. Uh, let's go ahead and fully provision. Here we go. We'll send that one back. And then, uh, keys. Just in case. Okay. Send back the six keys there for six shard dust. How good are you at basketball? I am okay at basketball. I can, I can shoot. I can play basketball. I'm okay at basketball. Are we looking good, chat? A renewal. Welcome back. Buzz Lightskin. Two months in a row. Welcome back. Thank you very much, buddy. Appreciate it. Oh, look, this is new. 30% scouting chance. Cool. Of course, with the building bonuses as well, we got to consider. Can you slam them dunks, though? I wish. Welcome to the bear pile. I'm close. Kid Benson! With Twitch Prime, thank you, buddy. Appreciate it. Welcome on in. Thanks for the sub. All right. Give me bear yays in chat if we're good to go. And also, poor Miller. The poor Miller. Right, the victim. The seasons took his livelihood. I took his land. And now, uncountable years later, the comet has taken his humanity. My only regret is that I did not live to see that shoddy mill smashed to pieces by the miraculous bounty I reaped from beyond the void. The time. Man, the time, baby. Hmm. Something that just occurred to me is whether or not I want to start the Highwayman in spot one. I think I'll start him in spot two so that I can have the Duelist Advance activated all the time. Although we'll probably have him start with Tracking Shot anyway, so it probably won't matter. Stop! Miller time! Oh, look! Okay. Already a small change here in the uh, the UI. Interesting. So yeah, if uh, folks aren't aware, let me go ahead and mention it again. Oh. Is this... Huh. Anyway. Uh, let me go ahead and mention it again. Red Hook has put out a patch that has made several adjustments to the Endless Mode in the Farmstead. I'll go ahead and drop a link to the forum post here so you guys can see all of the notes in detail. But uh, one of the biggest things is, like I was going to say 
Skills like Bolster have been adjusted so that you can only use them once per wave set as opposed to once per wave. So like a wave would be from here to here and a wave set would be from here to here. So you can only use those in a limited capacity now, which is a big debuff to them. Which means I'm probably not going to have Bolster equipped all that much anymore. Mortality clarified in a single strike. As a side, <coughs> sorry, as a side note, the crystal meth change isn't just an endless, and it only lasts for that battle. Okay, so yeah, there's changes in that regard as well. And uh, same goes with the Bulwark of Faith, I assume, too, for the Crusader. He's probably going to be experiencing the same thing. The Abomination's transformation, of course, is the one thing that has an exception. Press this advantage. Give them no quarter. Now we have both our reposts activated, though, so we'll see how effective this ends up being. And let's, uh... Hmm. Well, he's got two more rounds of that. Guard somebody, I suppose? If I guard him, he's going to be a lot more powerful, but... He's not going to be able to repost anything. So that's not going to work out. Hmm. Well, we'll see, I guess. My man at arms does have a good deal of dodge now as well. I think I'll probably be a lot better off uh, guarding the Jester or guarding the Vestal instead of guarding the Highwayman, even though those two aren't going to be dealing a lot of damage. I think I'll probably be uh, benefiting more from having so many more opportunities to repost. I just wanted to make sure that I wouldn't be missing out on, you know, like a huge buff. Because that 20% damage when you're being guarded from command, or 25% when you're being guarded from command. I don't even know if that actually carried over, did it? Oh, I haven't even used command yet. I'm an idiot. Eradicated. That was the only reason to do it. So, oh well. That was silly. Continue the onslaught. Destroy them all. Crush crit is not... Oh, it is enough. <laughs> and apparently I can just bank on it. God, I have 2,340 kills right now after patch I end very fast. I'm sure you do, yeah. Yeah, I don't think any of the strategies are gonna be as effective anymore, unfortunately. Ooh! Decimated. Do, 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 do. Yeah. Can you use the vapors that give plus three dodge from the antiquarian as much as you want or one per set? Ah, uh, good question. Was that ever limited? I don't think that was ever limited. The blood quickens. Anything that doesn't have like a use per battle limit on it already, I'm pretty sure didn't actually have one like added onto it. The only things that things that were affected were things like bolster and uh Bulwark of Faith and stuff like that. And the, uh, you know, the Leper's Revenge. Mm, drafts are open again on FTGA. Yay! Alright, I didn't have to wait long. Hooray. That is excellent news. Annihilated. So we may have to toss that in today. We'll see how things go. Do, 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 do. Get the kill. Nice! Surges as the enemy crumbles. And I could bandage that, but I don't think it's really necessary. Let's go ahead and do a command here. He's got repose for two. And you know what? Let's do this. <coughs> Pardon me. Oh, of course. The one person that wouldn't get a repose. We'll have to have her judgment again to get a heal. Oh, and that's the other change, too. You just noticed it right there. They uh, changed the AI spawning so it's a bit more intelligent. So frontline characters will show up more in the frontline and backline characters in the back and so on. I guess really that's it. Uh, still no need to stress heal, I don't think. I should probably think about the finale soon. Oh, this shows you your total kill count with that red skull and then your wave that you're on with that moon. Okay, that's cool. Got it. Hey, Delirium. It's feeling a lot better today. I don't, I don't have an old man hip today. I did some stretching. I did the calisthenics. Their formation is broken. Maintain the offensive. We got us one of them foam rollers. That took me, or uh, took good care of me this morning. 
They gave Pig Spear back to the Swine Tar, which is terrifying. That is terrifying. Yeah, they, they should go ahead and just take that back off of him. He doesn't need that. No, sir. Do you have any idea why your hip decided to be dumb? I think, I mean, easiest assumption I can make is I sit way too damn much, which is absolutely true. Stretch and you running a marathon next, Bear? I know, I'm really... I'm going above and beyond the expectation of a Twitch streamer, right? That's fun. Love that double repost. I guess we could finale now. Evening arc light. Oh my god, this is absurd right here. As the fiend falls, a faint hope blossoms. Bit of a waste, but fuck it. 99 damage! <laughs> oh, I can't use that. Oh, I just realized. I just realized I'm not going to have that until the end of this entire wave set now. Probably. To the pit. I assume. Whoopsie. Executed with impunity. Bear, you fool! That's, that's on me. Also, he's not going to... Oh my god, that was stupid. <laughs> Why did I defend him? Why did I do that? Oh, good, all right. That worked pretty well. Battle behind, battle ahead. But for a moment, peace. Cool. Okay, now. I don't know if he's gonna be able to use this again. Let's find out. Nope. Oh, that's terrible. However, that does provide us the opportunity to reveal another use of the Shard Dust. Which I will do in the next break. In the next uh, break in the waves here. And yeah, let's get that repost up. I won't... I, won't uh, I guess I can just explain what it does right now. It's pretty simple. The Shard Dust, on top of its additional buffs, now, uh, restores those, uh, one-use-per-battle moves. So if I were to use that on the Jester right now, he'd have another finale available. However, I'm almost positive you can only do that during the, uh, Curio Breaks now. So I don't think I can do it during the fight. But I might be wrong about that. Did they increase the number of shards dropped? I don't know. But I'm currently going through a double shards ex or double shards gained town event, so I'm getting more shards dropped. If that makes you feel better. And crit. Masterfully executed. Thank you. Keep it up. Still no need to stress heal yet. I'll try a stun on you. That severely hurts the flagellant now since his good skills are limited use. The exsanguinate and stuff like that. Yeah, he's he's been kind of weak for the uh, endless mode anyway, hasn't he? Crit. Ah, oh, damn it. I never really saw him as a favorite, especially because you can only bring one at a time. Rip hilarious leper shenanigans. Yeah, that's that's certainly one of the more notable effects. The fact that the leper is no longer really going to be all that viable anymore. Yeah, Ellie the Druid. A lot of people have been talking about that today. The new World of Warcraft expansion with the uh, Darkest Dungeon reference. It's pretty great. Makes me happy. Even though I don't really play WoW, but I can certainly appreciate the effect that that can have. The ground quakes. The crits! That's such a bad skill. Why does he... I mean, they really should have buffed that, if anything. 
Like the 8 to 11 stress attack from these guys. Oh, goodness. Definitely retribution here. Uh, I'm just gonna heal. A momentary abatement. Well, I should have just done an individual one, but I like topping everybody off anyway. The bigger the beast, the greater the glory. No wow spoilers. No, yeah, you won't find any here. I gotta clear them out. This is a very fast wave. Another abomination cleansed from our lands. Trinkets on the Vestal. She's got the Mildred's Locket, which is a uh, trinket specific for the Miller fight. And then Jania's head, which is just boosting her healing. Wow, 30%. That is all done. There we go. They gave Shieldbreaker a bit of a non-combat buff. Her flashbacks are apparently a 50% chance now. Oh, really? I saw, though, that she does now give you, like, a, a little warning bark prior to the, uh, flashbacks actually happening, which I think is smart. I probably should have done that before. Because otherwise you have no idea. Unless you, like, read the patch notes. This is when that super buff comes into play. Banking on the crits. I, mean, I gotta remember. Or I gotta remember. I don't have a finale available again, so I might as well not even worry about trying to set up position for that. A brilliant confluence of skill and purpose. So I should just move her. Man, I should have Dirk stabbed if that was what I was gonna do, though. So then, shit. This sucks. I really need him in the front. A devastating blow. So that means I'm gonna guard my Vestal. Crit? Ooh, big damage at least, okay. Ooh, convenient. Almost. God damn it. Well, at least... <laughs> at least maybe I can kill it before it does whatever it's gonna do. Yeah, I think that stopped it from applying horror or something, so that's... nice at least. Begging for examination. Don't stab Dirk Bear. Whatever did he do to you? I, I would never stab Dirk. I love Dirk Nowitzki. He's wonderful. Ah, oh, I forgot to use the shard dust again. Forgot to let my jester take a hit. Oh well. Existence folds in on itself. Let's go. And stun, not gonna happen. Let's go for that. She's dealing some decent damage. Without a shield breaker here, I'm gonna really feel the pain from this swine tar champion. But I'm hoping the repost is at least able to help it out a bit. Apparently now after you completed all seven nightmares, shield breaker gets a free buff every time you camp. Wow, so not only did they not nerf her, they made her better. Holy shit. Clearly they're not listening to me. Uh, I'm just gonna cycle, I guess. Can you believe in this day and age of sport he's going to actually spend his entire career with one team? Dirk's an anomaly, man. Dirk's just crazy. His championship is becoming more and more impressive as the years go on, too. Gotta love Dirk. Have you checked if you can refresh the finale during combat? I might as well try, I guess, huh? What's the harm besides maybe getting him addicted to shard dust? Yikes. This would be a good time to find out. Could benefit from a finale here. There we go. Evil Milkman, hey, thank you. Appreciate those kind of words. Ooh, yeah, there it is. You see that real little uh, refresh thing that popped up too? That was cool. Lowers his virtue chance for the entire quest, of course, but hey, we got the finale back. Let's do it. Not worth 
I'd say, ultimately there. Uh, sucks. Man. And there's the respawn. Of a stealth character. Perfect. Good stuff. Looking great. Hey, okay, guys. Yeah, that's for the whole quest. It's really questionable whether or not you want to tap into the shard dust. Yeah. It's a big risk. One damage. Hey, wizard. One repost, at least. Oh, boy. Can't believe he gets two rounds of stealth. And he gets to move to the front again. Yay! And I don't get to do anything with this guy! Pass! Fuck! Group heal. There we go. And this has got to be the play. Defend on the Vestal might have been fine. There we go. Now I get to at least point blank. Damn protection on these guys. How far in this run? Not too far. You can see up there without me even having to hover it over or hover over it anymore. 22 kills at the moment. 23. Gotta move back. Gotta get the man at arms back up front at some point. I just want to move him now. Yeah, let's do it. Moon symbol is the amount of waves we've completed, or the wave we're on, I guess. Stars are not right! I concur! Keep and pile of bullshit! There we go. Their cursed champion falls. My furthest run, I got at like 847. That was prior to this most recent patch, which adjusted things quite a bit. Fix them up. I think the balance changes are good, but again, I haven't really played enough of this run to really weigh in appropriately yet. But I'm in favor of the of what I've seen of it. I think it's better for the mode overall. It's fun to watch those crystals move around. All right. Who's your good little buddy? Yeah. Let me get this retribution back. Inspiration and improvement. Yeah, I I think I agree with you. It's gonna be pretty tough to uh. Get past not, not even just 400. I think that reflection, the reflection effect is going to make it pretty tough to get past even like 250 or 300. Once that kicks in, I think things are going to get really tough. My repost is indeed dealing a shitload of damage as I expected it to. Hopefully that continues. I think I could probably afford one pistol shot if that's the way to go here, but it doesn't really look like it's going to be all that much better. Uh. Oh, God. That's why he's so weak. Not that it made a big... <laughs> it didn't make a difference at all, except for this, I guess. Let's do that. Okay. Yeah, the reflection kicks in around 200 kills, and that's when things are going to get really insane. Been a hell of a grind just on this wave, though. Miss? Unnerved. Unbalanced. Just want everybody to realize that large flesh eater just hit me for 60 damage. That'd be a 6 followed by a 0. Didn't realize that was actually a possibility. See, as I'm shooting it for 13, it hit me for, once again, the number there was 60? No, 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 not see, I don't want you to misunderstand. 
It wasn't 6.0 damage. It was 60 damage. Such a terrible assault cannot be left unanswered. Followed by 47 spread across the entire team. Here's another 60. As life ebbs, terrible vistas of emptiness reveal themselves. I guess they, th this is hard. It's kind of difficult. 0 0.6 damage. Oh, no, sir. See, you misunderstand me, chat. That was 60! Patched up. If only to bleed again. Uh-huh! Monster's size has no intrinsic merit, unless inordinate exsanguination be considered a virtue. 16 isn't really that much, Bear. That's enough. That is enough! Willful misinterpretation! Ooh, the double crit, though. Ooh, the triple crit, though. Perhaps the turning point. All right. All right, we're gonna get a good curio here. That's what's gonna happen. We're gonna get all fixed up. Oh, no, never mind. We got more enemies to fight. Luckily, Riposte will do really well against these guys, though. You're saying it's sixy, right? Like a funny way of saying six. <laughs> yeah, you know the common Compassion replacement word for the for, for the number six. Sixy. What's your phone number? Oh, sure, it's uh, one sixty five seven sixty sixty six e. Got him. It's a, it's a really attractive six. You know it. Ugh. Die! Bear, it was really nice of him to heal you for 60. Why are you complaining? I really gotta get my, uh... I gotta get my head on straight. I gotta, I gotta start. I gotta start focusing on something else. Y'all are killing me. Literally. Just a miss. A this is horrible. I thought maybe I'd be able to actually, like, benefit from the spawn of these new enemies. How foolish was I? I am going to Jaggy for sure, yeah. I didn't realize the uh, drafts were coming back, so yeah, I think I'm going to go ahead and toss some MTG Arena in the mix today. Safe from the comet's maddening light. For now. He just saw the uh, restoration tick on the Jester there as well. If you were paying attention anyway. Oh, that sound glitch. I hope they get rid of that. Oh, cool. All right. Okay. Goodness. Just a couple rounds there. There's that virtue chance loss. Right, you just need to get positive virtue checks on all your characters again. Yeah, totally right. That'll work. Off we go. Heroes of Earth. Filled with blood. I don't think I have to stress heal. What, we gotta pay attention now? I know, it's bullshit. I go on Twitch to ignore everything. Maybe a little too real, huh? Go on Twitch to shirk all your responsibilities? I see you procrastinating. Jeff. Get back to your dissertation. I ain't gonna let you s swindle your way out of this one, buddy. You better get back to work. Hey, Tea Leaf. If I'm not Jeff, can I keep procrastinating? Yeah, you're fine. It's just friggin' Jeff's always so lazy. 
Just get to work. You're like, come on, man. We're all trying to carry the weight for you. I'm eating. I'll get back to it later. It's like 9 p.m. here. I don't want to hear your excuses anymore, Jeff. I want results. I want papers on my desk by morning time. If you are a G-E-O-F-F, -F, you're in trouble just for the spelling of your name. I mean, I'm, I'm not going to get to that point, but... And maybe that's an argument for a reason. Wowie! That feels good. I want those TSA reports, Jeffs. Jeffs. <laughs> I want all the Jeffs in chat to get together and have those reports on my desk Monday morning. What reports, Bear? You know what reports. Playing dumb, giving me all these excuses. I'm sick of it. Sick of it, Jeffs. It's TPS report. That's true, it is TPS report. I thought it sounded weird when I said it out loud. So you, you got the you got the memo on those uh, TPS reports, right? Because we're gonna have the new cover sheet on them now. Just wanna make sure you don't mess that up again, okay? Oh, okay, great. Do I need a stress heal? Nah. It's society that's wrong. It's the children who are wrong. Bear has inspired me to go tell the Jeff in my office to get to work. Every Jeff in every office, I think, needs that reminder every once in a while. If I'm lying, I ain't critting. Darkest dungeon. The confirmer of all truths. Bear, is it immoral to accept free barbecue lunches from religious groups with zero intention to convert to their religion? I feel a little scummy. Absolutely not. You know what you're doing? You're taking advantage of a great situation. Those people are thrilled you showed up. You know what would happen to that food if you didn't eat it? They'd throw it away. You're doing God's work, exactly. That was a janky spawn. No, it's just a, uh, it's just the way that the AI works now with the uh, update to the endless mode. They spawn a little bit more intelligently instead of just spawning from the back. Yeah, as a former part of those religious groups, I 100% guarantee that anybody that shows up is a, is a welcome sight. Pardon the sacrilege, but they don't give a goddamn if you stick around for the religious services afterward. I mean, they'd like it, obviously. But you being there is a success in their book. Reeling. About to break. Uh, yep. It's God's plan for you to eat the ribs. That's what Drake said, right? Yeah, how do you get more free barbecue in your lives? That's the question you gotta ask. Church services. Step one. Eat the, eat the ribs of the rich. <laughs> okay, I got, I got shuffled around pretty bad here. I'm actually concerned about this. I think I might want to go ahead and do that. Set up a finale for this round. So I'm a little worried. Apologies. Oh yeah. Bless that go. What was that Drake fact you had to read the other day? Let me pull. I'll, I'll pull up the sheet. Hang on. I got a whole list of fucking Drake facts, dude. 
I'll rattle some off for you. Where are they? It's so far up here. I got so many damn scripts lately. First of all, <laughs> oh, here we go. You want you want Drake facts, baby? I got Drake facts. Did you guys know Drake's dad, Dennis Graham, used to be a drummer? Gonna need a bear wow in chat for every one of these fascinating Aubrey Drake Graham facts. Oh, wow! How cool! Did you know Mr. Drizzy dropped out of high school at 15? The same year, he participated on the TV show Degrassi. But then 10 years later, he graduated from high school. Wow. All right, I think that's all I can read. For more, make sure to go to youtube.com slash top trending TV. That's a genuine plug. They can't even be, they can't even be mad about that. Sure, I gave away a little a little sampling of the content. But for the rest of it, you gotta go to them. They got the goods. Because I actually did record all those facts and provide voiceover for a video that's gonna be up, if not now, soon. Bear, does this mean I need to drop out of school? Hmm. Well, let's present the facts as we know them. Drake dropped out of school at the age of 15 and is now an extremely successful multi-platinum selling recording artist, as well as having a long stint on a fairly popular Canadian TV show. You, I know nothing of, apart from being a beloved member of the Bear Pile. Who I assume to still be in high school, if you're asking this question. You know what? I think the logic is pretty sound. You should probably go ahead and drop out of high school. I think the most likely outcome from that is that you end up a multi-platinum recording artist. A closer look, perhaps? I don't think it's worth it to be on Canadian TV. I mean, you got to make that call. Ultimately, ultimately, I think that's a personal choice for most most folks. Let's see. Sh shouldn't he be in class right now? He's late. Uh, let's do it. So I've already eaten a lot of food, unfortunately. Gathered close in tenuous firelight. An uneasy companionship. I think I can probably manage the stress just fine without... Oh my god, yeah, especially because I forgot he has the uh, Tyrant's Tasting Cup. So that's going to make those way better. And then... Let's do, uh... I'm gonna probably take the Man at Arms buffs, actually. Weapons practice. Maybe tactics, actually, for the squad for a little bit more of a crit buff there. And then hopefully get the extra 8% there, too. Nice. We did indeed. All right, good stuff. That'll do. 37. You should be working right now. Oh, man. Remember summer vacation? Remember those three months out of the year where you weren't expected to do anything at all apart from wait for your next year of school? Oh, man. Remember being blissfully unaware of the fact that that would one day not be a thing? Good times. Flame goat! Boop! Oh shit, it's the wrench! It's the staff, cheese it! Hide the memes! Welcome back for five months, dude. Thank you. Run, fear me, something along those. He's a, he's a lazy... A lazy deity. So jaded to the, to the almighty power that he wields. 
Yeah, you know what? Fuck it. Be afraid. <laughs> You're sore crows. Work yourself today, Coltane. Welcome back. Yeah. Vestal's Locket Trinket, that's the Mildred's Locket, which is a uh, trinket specifically designed to beat the Miller, really. I'll give you a look at a second here. There you go. Cancels out the reaping, more or less. Just makes her uh, a lot more effective for that fight. Speed buff, too, is just going to ideally give us the ability to heal quickly prior to anybody dying. Um, I got the repose for two. I think I could probably get away with the command here. Welcome to the bear pile. Zombrusi! Bear hugs, please, for the newest member. Thank you very much, Zombru, for the subscription. Appreciate it. That's a little better. Welcome on into the bear pile. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. The two crits off the repose. I love it. Love it. We gotta reset that for sure. Oh, yes. It's good, baby. Consume hydration. Got it. Got it. Ah, uh, we gotta keep buffing. Do, 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 do. Uh, another retribution. Oh, the crit is not enough, is it? It's gonna hit for six or five. Shit. Still the proper play, I'd say, though. Uh, I've hydrated, don't you worry. <laughs> Love those. Miss it? I got a 55 dodge. Come on, I got the same dodge as crit chance, for God's sake. See, there we go. That's more like it. Later on, Seymour. Still got one round there. I'll just keep buffing this. Nearly 50% on this crit chance now. That's crazy. I'm sticking around here. No stress either. Looking good. Somehow seems as though the, uh... The decision to bring the Jester may have been unnecessary after all. Shivers! You did manage to fuel a single enemy crit there, buddy, although unfortunately it resulted in the enemy dying immediately afterward. I'll hand it to you, though. Well done. Get that reset. Oh my goodness. Feels good, man. Worth it. Ooh, close. I really want to do a group heal here, but I can also... Taste blood, and I thought it was right there, but we'll get the retribution first, right? There it is. Hello, bleeding toast. Welcome back. Right there, buddy, do it. All right, one big heal for you. You know, I do gotta say, I'm pretty impressed with uh, my catchy so far. That $40 ultraviolet light gizmo that I bought to catch gnats and no seams and fruit flies, which are all the same thing. I've been gnat free so far. And I am feeling good. I forgot what it was like not to have to swat things away every four seconds. The instruments pause. But the symphony will soon continue. Shill, I know, right? Kind of sounds like it. I can just be happy I bought something that I like. Right? Is that still allowed? No? Oh, okay. Fair enough. Oh, right, yeah, it's your turn. Familiar sight of mud, rain, and ruin. <laughs> what kill count is the zap thingy at? I can see quite a few in there, man. That's why I'm most excited by it. I'm like looking in there and I'm like, oh shit. There are several gnats within that, uh, within that device. It's doing its job. Prepare for the milling. No stuns, get the crits. 23 damage from the fucking Jester, Vestal, Vestal. That's the one, that's who that is. 
Okay. I might want to consider... Welcome to the bear pile. Thanking Champagne Rick! Close, hopefully. Thank you very much for your subscription. Champagne Rick. Something like that. Thank you, thank you, thank you for your support. Some bear hugs, please, if you wouldn't mind. Thank you for your subscription and welcome to the pile. Enjoy your badge, your emotes, and whatnot. That'll do. He is guarded, unfortunately. Dirk Stab bypasses it, though, if I want to go that route. But I would have to reset with a shard dust. Should have held on to that for the Miller fight. Welcome to the bear pile. Coming! Welcome to the bear pile. Thank you for your subscription as well. More hugs, if you wouldn't mind, folks. Champin, I'm glad you feel that way. Thank you for your subscription, buddy. Yes! Still one post, or er, still one repost each. That's some big time damage. Holy fucking shit. Every time that happens, he is gonna feel the fucking hurt. This is an anti Miller team. This is so good. This is legitimately incredible. Holy shit. Just need a big heal. What's the number that appears after you hit somebody with a repose? That's the man-at-arms damage reflection that's coming off of his mirror shield trinket. He does like 20 or 30% damage reflection off of every attack. 30%. Let's reset this now. Every single hit is a crit. This line will not break. Here we go. Yes! Oh my god! It's so good! Wrecked. One for one, baby. He even gets reposted from the Immortal Beloved. Holy hell, that's insane. Let me get one more heal, could I? Could I maybe? Just for the true cheese. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you. Oh my god. This is absurd. Ah, oh, no crit there. All right, that would have been the uh, icing on the cake. That that works. That definitely works. Oh my god. We don't even need that. Resupply and recover. But be quick. Truly unnecessary. But total domination over the Miller. Very good. Abusing the poor Miller. What a mean bear. A glistening shard of memory. Expose! Yep. Geigen man! Bits for crits, thanks, buddy. Let's see here. Go ahead and get those up. Andy Mouse, hey buddy. Exposed to a killing blow. Welcome back, good to see you again. Holy hell. This fucking man in arms. Bots OP. Humans are overrated. Bots are where it's at. I guess Xeno Paradox is okay too. Group heals coming up though. Gotta crush that crystal. A momentary abatement. Yep. Bear, tell me about this indie mouse indie mouse bot you got here. Oh, it's a lovely bot. All you gotta do, actually, you take any video game, you run it through the machine, and it will instantly tell you the top three waifus in that game. It's really cool. 
Initially, the Indie Mouse Bot uh, kind of started out as like a Milk Dark Souls project. That's actually what, it's what we called it. I don't mean to sound disparaging. It was literally called the Milk Dark, Dark Souls project. He he chose the name. It was it's weirdly sexual, actually, the way he suggested it. But yeah, since then he's uh, made a transition in content and it's going pretty well. There's waifus to be found everywhere. Bear, what's your favorite waifu in Darkest Dungeon? The Salacious Vestal, of course. <laughs> Ow. Do you still think Tracking Shot is worth it here now, despite that it only lasts a short time being single-use? Yeah, you know, I guess we gotta consider that now too, don't we? We might want to trade that out for something like Wicked Slice or Open Vein. I hadn't even thought about that. Is this that per battle? Later on, Robin. Favorite DD waifu is the Hellion. Fair enough. Fair enough. Hey, chat. Have you checked your Twitch Prime subscription? Hit that subscribe button and use it on my good friend Bear Taffy right now. A momentary abatement. Thanks, Indie Mouse Bot. Can always count on you for a good plug. Wink, 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 wink. Weirdly suggestive and sexual Indie Mouse Bot. Welcome to the Bear Pile. Seth P! Grits for you, buddy. Welcome to the pile. Thank you very much for your Twitch Prime subscription. Appreciate it. Enjoy your badge, your emotes. And another crit, because why not? Fuck it. Boom, 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 boom. Ooh, yeah. Probably going to guard the Jester here. Rabies! Mm. Lame. We need a few more bear hugs, y'all. We've had several subscribers over the last uh, little bit here. I want to make sure they all feel it. Dark Flames, how you doing? But thank you, thank you for the uh, for the support. There it is. I love getting one shots like that. Feels so damn good. There they are. Thank y'all. Thank you very much. Oh, he's on fire now. Can't stop. Won't stop. Crit post. Yeah, I like it. Mm-hmm. That's where we're at. Let's see another. Boom, <laughs> baby. Woo. I am loving this. Oh, yeah. Voice activated, absolutely. Topped off. Is a rarity in the fever pitch of Siren's the best waifu. You'll never leave her. Even if you want to. A place of refuge. If only for a fleeting moment. All right. Onward. Siren steals your waifu. Yeah. Regained. All right. So yeah, no tracking shot anymore. See, I, I will probably uh, go ahead and replace that with something else. More than likely the Wicked Slice. Since that does have a pretty damn good uh, crit chance associated with it. Although he's got the weak grip, so yeah, that's... Maybe I should go for Grape Shot then. That'll probably be better. Nice! Yay, rabies! Yeah, I think I'll swap off uh, Tracking Shot for Grape Shot Blast now. Definitely not worth it anymore to keep that around. Side boob lady best waifu. There you go. Shambler is my waifu. Crit for crat, baby! Critsmas! Still no need to stress heal. 
Still really no need to heal, but I'll take it. Alright. Oop. Hot diggity damn. Bye! Thirty-two damage from reposts and damage reflection. Madness. Did you see the darkest dungeon Easter eggs you found? Uh, yeah, everybody's been talking about that today, Indy Mouse. We were all very, very happy to see that it uh, made a cameo. It's pretty awesome. It deserves it. People say it like... This, this is not an opinion I hold, necessarily. A renewal. Oh, shit. Welcome back. Grenader! 49 months in a row from Grenader. Welcome back. Thank you, thank you so much for that long-term support, buddy. Appreciate it. Uh, what I was gonna say is... I don't necessarily hold this opinion, but a lot of people are saying that this game kind of, like, revitalized the genre. The Darkest Dungeon has kind of brought back the, uh... You know, traditional turn-based combat RPG. Since this is a, uh, it's a pretty simple... ...formula here for a game. Almost tabletop-esque. But, uh... It wasn't ever something that was, um... ...all that popular recently, you know? A turn-based PC RPG like this. And now we're starting to see other kind of knockoffs. But... I'm kind of of the opinion that this game really only succeeds so much because of the atmosphere. And I don't think that's necessarily even like a... ...controversial opinion at all. I think it's a pretty commonly held one that this is... ...a game that is almost carried... ...by the way it's presented. Shadow, thank you. Appreciate it. The voice. Oh, yeah, of course. And then Wayne June. Like, he's part of that. He's part of that atmosphere. He's part of what I'm talking about. The, the, the things that the game would not be the same without. Without Wayne June, without the writing, without the, the art style. Chris Barasa at the helm. They've got... They got a superstar squad that put together something that is, I guess, kind of dated. But was just made with such... Excellence that it stands out. I still need to go through the art book as well. I keep forgetting I have it. It's just sitting right here on the table next to me. Then he was yeah, I did do nothing during that turn. I'm trying to f <laughs> this is it really blows. A hole in my strategy when the stealth characters show up in the front. That really uh, messes things up. Not to mention the fact that the man at arms ended up in the fourth spot somehow, so I, I gotta fix things here. I am the YouTube man, Booms, I assume. Hey, Moo, how you doing? Wayne, definitely the best waifu. It's incredible art, Altian. Yeah, it's it's. I'm trying to place even, like, what I would compare it to. I don't really have a very good... Uh, ...reference point, really, for it. Like, this is the first... ...game of this variety that I've gotten this heavily invested in, for sure. I vote Chad is best waifu. Oh, Always getting on their good side, Chill Reeve. Yeah, same, Minnie Mouse. I'm very, very excited to see what they do next. That's a studio I've got total confidence in, more or less, regardless of what they choose to do. Cuphead tier of artwork, indeed, yeah. That's an upper echelon that very few are going to be able to aspire to at this point. There's teams, like, there are several teams now that have kind of like a, uh, a noteworthy art style unique to them. There's things like Clay and the Behemoth that immediately come to mind. 
That makes me think more and more that, like, art is maybe one of the most critically important things to a game's success. Super giant as well, for sure, yeah. Like, I don't think you can really... Unless you kind of have, like, a, uh, a, a deliberately, um, either niche or specialized art style. A la something like pixel art, maybe, like, um... Well, like, Moonlighter that we just played, for example. That was a, that was a pixel art style game. And, uh, you can get away with it if you, if you go that route, of course, because you're... You're being very deliberate with it, but... I think you really have to stand out. Like, there you go. Yeah, Hollow Knight's another good example, too. Hollow Knight... ...is an extremely well-made Metroidvania. Like, I don't ever want to take take away any praise from Hollow Knight, but I do want to mention, too, that it's a, it's a good example, too, of the fact that... ...its presentation is phenomenal. The music in that game is stellar. The art is obviously terrific. I love that this Vestal has been doing absolutely nothing, by the way. <laughs> I'm finally gonna get her to the back here. Oh my god. Just going back and forth with her. But, uh... Yeah, like the music, the art, everything about that game. The, even the the, uh, au the audio design overall... ...with Hollow Knight is top-notch, too. At last, some sheltered corner of reality. I think it's borderline necessary... ...to be... At least to, to to put a very heavy focus on that component of the of the uh, design, because I, I in my experience that's been one of the uh, more important things, which seems pretty obvious, I guess. But I don't know. I feel like a lot of developers just kind of tend to skimp on artwork, you know, grab assets for free. It's like the the design matters most, which... I guess I can understand that mindset, sometimes. You can have the best design game in the world. If it looks like shit, nobody's gonna play it. Gotta head out later on, Zen. A cosmic dreamscape. A waking nightmare. <laughs> Coder art, yeah, exactly. And not not every coder is an artist, obviously. But you gotta you gotta hire them artists, though. You can't skimp. Spelunky art, yeah, man. So good. I mean, Derek is God. He's just a another one in a million guy, too. The fact that he's got the art and the code for that in his brain. Although he did he did uh, admittedly give most of the work to uh, Andy Hole for that. 80% fucking protection on these guys. Oh, goodness. That scamp does look pretty nice, actually. I'll probably check that out at some point. Derek is... Yeah, no, I, I stand by that 100%. I think he's a pure genius. Not even just in regards to game design. Just reading his book making me realize this dude is smart as hell. Fortnite art. Well, there you go. Yeah, there's another example of a studio that's got a very definitive art style is Epic. Although, I guess you can kind of blame that on the Unreal Engine, really. I've played Factorio. Yeah, we did a little series uh, on Factorio. I think, like, last year or something. I ended up getting uh, kind of burnt out on it because it was a little too slow-paced for me. Also, way too complicated. My brain broke so much. Factorio is ugly and great. Okay, you know what? Fair point. There's a, uh, there's a rule breaker right there. Factorio is almost objectively hideous. But an extremely good game. Festering fear consumes the mind. Borderlands art. Yeah, that's, um, Gearbox, right? That's like a very heavily cell shaded style. 
Which I think is kind of losing popularity these days in general cell shading. Comic book style, yeah, there you go. And like, what was that game that, uh, it was like killer number seven or something like that? Killer seven? I think is the, is that the, yeah, that's the video game for the GameCube. That's the one that had that like really crazy, uh, comic book style to it, right? Yeah, that style is, uh, I believe beginning to kind of lose popularity. Suda 51, that's right, yeah. Do, 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 do. Oh yeah, of course, Telltale also has a very definitive style. That might change soon, though. I mean, they are adapting a new engine, finally. I'm sure it won't be altered very much. They, they probably like what they've got, but... Yeah, you can certainly tell a t uh, Telltale game now. The abyss returns even the boldest days. Yeah, I remember Beautiful Joe. I didn't ever actually play it. I always remember people saying it was pretty damn good, though. Oh my god, please, the rabies is killing me. Yeah, one more round there, there we are. Do, do, do. Ceaseless howls, I can't stop it. This guy's gonna take forever and a day to kill. I gotta keep stress healing, I think. <laughs> Good art can add solid mechanics. You can add two solid mechanics and bring it to the next level. But if mechanics are shit, you just have the best visuals ever and it's still just a shiny pile of shit no one wants. Yeah, but I like looking at it. <laughs> I mean, I think it's pretty clear that, like, you need... You need both to be effective. More of the point I'm making is that, like... I believe it's getting to the point now... Where you cannot get away with having bad art. I think it's extremely unlikely that a game is successful... With quote-unquote coder art. Yeah, it's worth it. Oh, come now. Draco! Found you on YouTube. Immediately binged like 15 Darkest Dungeon episodes, but I don't think I can realistically catch up at this rate. Yeah, I got a bit of a backlog there, buddy. Thank you for the ad bits. Appreciate it. Thanks for watching, dude. There we go. Oh! Welcome back, Restructure. Yeah. Not a fan of the mobile. I too like sitting at my computer. But it's no longer infested with gnats. I can't state enough. It's so nice. Like, just imagine... Imagine you're sitting at, at your office computer and, like, every four to five seconds, someone just lightly pokes you. Everywhere on your body, anywhere, like, it could be, like, your leg, your foot, your shoulder, your face. A lot of the time, it's your face. Imagine enduring that forever. Your dick, every time it's your dick, it's terrible. Now, imagine enduring that, and then, the sweet relief you would feel when it stops happening. Oh, it's... It's magical. And literally as soon as I said that, a gnat landed on my face and I smacked myself and it didn't kill it. But in general, I'm doing better. Feels good, man. Just disable the Crimson Court to avoid gnats. I wish. But it were true. Hey, 69 kids. Ha <laughs> ha. Nice! Like sex! Oh, now we don't. Now we don't get to have sex. Oh, man. Bummer, dude. Miss. 
All right, well, at least we managed to uh, take care of that stress pretty well. Let's reset that again. Hell yeah. Do, 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 do. Oh, yeah, a lot of people are talking about West of Loathing, huh? Bad art, good mechanics. That game didn't even have good mechanics. <laughs> that game was carried by comedy, I think, for the most part. The art obviously, like, played into the comedy, though, too, to a certain extent. It's good writing, yeah, definitely good writing. Yep. There we go. Probably not gonna get enough of the repose, so I think I'll go for a crush. Do, 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 do. There it is. The spittoons, though. <laughs> you gotta play that game for the spittoons alone, honestly. Like, the descent into madness of the writing team. How can you still be looking at these spittoons? What's wrong with you? Repost. Yes. This one just keep going, doesn't it? Would you consider the art of West of Loathing bad or just simple? To add to the over-comedy? Not trying to argue with the dude in chat who said it. You know, yeah, so that's an interesting consideration, yeah. That's one that's like... Well, Kingdom of Loathing has always been a stick figure-based experience, right? That browser game has always had that style. So it's not like they were going to update it or something. It's going to be like, oh, look at the... The definition on these three-dimensional characters. West of Loathing is the upgrade. I think it's, a, yeah, it's a stylistic choice. So you're not really, like, looking at those under the same lens, I don't think, as you are something like a, you know, like a Braid or a Firewatch or something like that. You're not really putting those under the same microscope. They did have an HD option, right, yeah. Oh boy. They did, yeah, they had some pretty great animations too, is the thing. So, like, they did. They had a very deliberate stylistic choice, but they. They had, like, a level of quality to it that could only be attributed to that style. So, like, they they animated stupid walking of a stick figure really well. <laughs> it's just, like, again, a very specialized thing that they had a chance to do well in, but they did it. Circle in the dark. The battle may yet be won. Definitely no need for that. All right. I do like Tiger's Eye here. I think we'll go ahead and take those same sets of buffs I was going for last time. All right. Fine with me. Off we go. Behold the horror that lurks behind the veil of glimmering starlight. A sleeper. So sadly, our repose team is not really well built for the sleeper fight. I do have my finale available, luckily. I managed to hang on to it through that whole, uh, whole time there. Ooh, damn, okay. Ooh, that might mean I might actually be able to kill that with a uh, retribution. I'm definitely gonna start off by doing judgments with the Vestal while I don't have to heal. Oh, fuck you. God damn it. Okay, so you know what? I don't even know if I necessarily want to activate my repost here with the man at arms. I think my, I might very well be better off continually buffing and maybe even defending the highwayman so that he gets that 25% damage buff so we can point blank shot some shit. There we go. I want to try to get it so that he's got enough damage at base level to just kill the things without a crit, but I can likely also boost his crit chance enough to depend on it. 
So it's higher than a coin flip chance. And of course, we're also boosting the Vestal's crit chance all, all this time, so she's going to be able to deal more damage to the a Fracture. Anonymous dispensation! Indy Mouse! Oh, buddy! This is for all the great episodes of Roundtable. Sad to see, to, or, uh, see it come to an end, but also understand you need to keep that mental health and family time in check. Thank you, man. That's very kind of you. I appreciate that. A round of bear hugs, please. For any mouse. Yeah, round table is no more. It's a decision we had to make. One that's bittersweet. Because I do feel it was necessary. But, you know, it was, it was fun while it lasted. I'll talk about that at some point. I should probably try to kill this thing. Oh, God, come on. That, that emote does not work. No, I have no idea what that was. Okay. Oh, wait, that's not going to do the thing because I killed it. Ooh, repost might actually be the way to go here. You know what? I'm totally doing that. Duelist Advance plus Retribution. I'll have enough for post damage to kill them before they actually apply their thing. That's so good. And then ju Judgment is going to be the only way I damage him, of course. But I'm going to prevent most of the, uh, the problems here, I think. Especially if I deal enough damage to it prior to it actually exploding, of course. Now that's virtually guaranteed to be killed before it does whatever it's going to do. Ling Lord! A little something for all the freeloading of Roundtable I did. Thank you for 2,000 bits! That's very kind as well. Appreciate it, buddy. See, there we go. We don't have to suffer the effects of the Eternal Blossom because we killed it first. That's so good. Oh, and we get to do the double crit off the slow the sands dodge! Holy shit! Yeah, this music is great. There's a quick kill. Repost for one more round here. I think I'll take a group heal this time. Finally. Dark Shadow, hey man. Glad he could stop by for a bit. It's some repost cheese. It's it's working, man. It's working. We got two more rounds of that. Let's go ahead and add some more here. No worries, baby. Now we see whether or not we actually had to add any damage to him. I think we might have enough without hitting it at all. Let's find out. Okay, I didn't, but luckily I dodged three, so that was totally fine. Holy shit! Yes! Oh, come on. Do your thing. Let me hit you with everybody. That's bullshit. All right, uh... I'm pretty sure these are going to leave, so I don't think it really matters. Do one more group heal. A momentary abatement. And yeah. I have one stress. Well, what the, besides that 15, of course. There it is. All right, let's go ahead and get the repost gone. Or er, on one more round here. And he'll probably end up commanding now. No chance to stun. Let's do it. There it is! Holy Waters might be the way to go here so I can maybe prevent the Blight, but I also have Anti-Venom. Let me go ahead and use one here. And set up the finale. There's another damage boost. Big hit! And let's see. Um, I got Riposte up. I could guard him to boost his finale damage. But I don't have a command activated, I don't think. Maybe he'll get first action. We'll try to make use of that. Oh my god! Wow! That's huge. Yes! Let's go! 100% chance, hell yeah. Loving it. Loving it! Come on. They both dodged it again! Holy 
Holy shit! That's wild. Oh my god, that's insane. <laughs> Carnage. A closer look, perhaps. And another unnecessary memory. Oh god, get out of here. There we go. This team is absurd. Let's keep going. Oh, I, yeah, I keep forgetting to drop tracking shot. Good call. Shit, I gotta do that next time. Whoopsie. Might as well use it. I don't think you can use the memories for anything else now, no. This has indeed been an effective team composition, Dark Shadow. Yeah, it's working out real good. My highest skill count is 847, yeah. So a ways away from this. What I'm most concerned about for this run now, of course, is when the reflection kicks in at 2,000. Or not 2,000. 2,200. But yeah, that score I got was pre-patched, so I don't think I'm going to be able to get near there anymore. The dodges, though. Holy shit. John Wolf, hey, how are you? Good to see you. Now, this isn't the team that had that kill streak. That team was, um... It was a Crusader that re replaced the Jester. There was a Highwayman there, and then a Shield Breaker replaced the Man at Arms. But it was similar to this. Patch drop today, yeah. Alright, we got our repose up now. What are your thoughts on Flagellant in the Endless Mode? Since Exsanguinate and Redeem are both battle limited. I didn't really like him in the, in the Endless Mode in the first place, so... He seems more or less unusable now. Unfortunately. Okay. I think I'm good. Gotta expect some crits coming up. That ought to kill you. Hell yeah. Okay, Vestal for the damage on that. And we get a command buff. Sick! They follow through with their proposed changes to Shieldbreaker Nightmare. Yeah, it sounds like they did uh, do that as well. They made a lot of adjustments to that. Made it so that she, uh, more, most importantly, I feel they made it so that she pops up with a warning before it happens. Which is pretty helpful. Or is it like a 50% chance she warns you or something? Woo, baby. Preventing the stress again. Love that. Fifty percent chance it happens, guaranteed warning. Okay. Hmm. You'd rather be able to plan for it? I suppose you still can in that respect. And the warning is obviously just inherently beneficial. The fact that it's not guaranteed anymore is kind of interesting, though. Hey, Painter Skies, how you doing? Oh man. Double repost action. I wouldn't be surprised to see this get nerfed next. It isn't really clear if the flagellant got nerfed though. The patch notes specifically say they nerfed battle skills with full combat duration and the flagellant had none of those. He did have the only use them once per battle skills though. And I was under the impression that those ones had also been uh, affected besides the abominations which was Untouched. There we go. How long was the biggest beard you've had? Oh, that, that had to be the most recent one. That one was down to my chest. 
I got a snapshot of that. I've actually, I've, I've shaved it off since. The Barrett is no more. It's getting too hot, man. I couldn't keep it. Ooh, baby. Still going. Last I saw, Bear was hit for like 60 damage. Somehow got through, man. We're doing it. Not the Barrett. It had to be done, man. It's so damn hot. It was pretty great, though. Mm, crit! Alright. Flagellant gets plus 100% from abilities and trinkets to death blow resistance, but the cap of 87% remains in place. That seems kind of silly. But I guess you really don't want to uh, be able to guarantee somebody survives death blow, right? Kind of ruins the point of that mechanic. Oh, I still forgot to unlock tracking shot. That was dumb. Alright, spam tracking shot next wave, please. So I don't forget. You tread beyond the reach of reality. Yep. I also love this repose stuff. It's a lot of fun. Not now, you know, Chill Reeve. God damn it. You're a mod. You're supposed to set a good example. Did you form a beard pile with the remains? Nah, I just threw it out because I'm lame. I should have done a giveaway. Just to show how conceited I am. Retweet this tweet for a chance to win my beard hair. Suck it. <laughs> Mine's better. Oh, we got stress heal. Do a Chubbs hair giveaway. Nah, it's all mine. Yeah, it's 200 kills to activate the reflection, so we're still a ways away from that. It'll be but a moment's time. Buff time, I guess. Should have tried to keep it in its original shape and mounted it like a trophy. <laughs> Honestly, I did kind of maintain quite a bit of the beard itself as I was going. I, I What I did was... So I've never done it before. I've never shaved that big of a beard before. So all I did was just uh, take it from underneath. I'm doing a visual aid to try to help represent it, but obviously that's not doing any good for you. But uh, the blood pumps. I just took the electric razor and I just went from like bottom of the neck all the way up to like the chin line. All across my neck. And so it was just like... <laughs> The beard itself was just like hanging by threads, literally across my chin line. It looks pretty awful. I probably should have gotten another photo of that too, but... I think next time if I grow it out, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to keep its uh, form as best I can. 42 on the fucking double crit repost! Oh boy. Hey Tieri, welcome. Do 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 do. Okay. Yikes. Oh, and the bleed, too. That hurts. We'll pop a judgment for her, though. Yeah. A little bandage, too. Why not? There it is. Later on, Oprah. Have a good day. Don't need to stress heal anymore. I think I'll... Probably just guard, actually. Guard the Vestal here. Yeah, that's fine. This damn voice activation. Can't help it. That would have been a crit. Well, that would have been a kill with a crit, I mean. Probably Judgment again. Especially because she's guarded. Let's do this right here. That looks good. Retribution will be enough. Gotta reset the repost anyway. Ooh, never mind. See ya. I'm still gonna do it though. Nice. Loving it. Loving it. 
finally get the heal off on him now, too. And that, I believe, is full stacks of Battle Ballad. Beautiful. Retribution does the job there, although I did just reset that. Love that. Let's do her or do the guard again, or maybe a command here. Bitchin'. Eh, fuck it. That was bad. That was a waste. Spawns in the front, huh? Okay. Let me finish you off real fast. And that. Ooh, damn. Pistol shot to finish you off. And since we have a full repost here, I'd say we go ahead and guard. Actually, you know what? Let's do that. That's a little better, I'd say. Yes, sir. Got the speed debuff on him, too. Okay, now we can finally do that. Definitely this. Excellent. Another buff. And one more activation. All right, good shit. That's all the stress nearly almost gone here. Oh, fuck me. Wow. Yeah, that hurts. Hey, boys. Fuck them up. Yeah. I don't have a move forward for him, but I can just crush from back there. Oh, yes. And... Oh, I can't crush from back there. Shit. Let's do that. Jester's in a little bit of danger up there with two of these guys. Oh, boy, that's a lot of damage. Miss? Thank you. Lurker's still on, hey. Hey, howdy, hey. Well, I know I'm gonna get another group heal here, at least. I'll probably take a buff if I can get it. Oh, actually, I should do Retribution. Nice. Alright, there we go. That's gonna carry over a ton of buffs into the next wave, actually. That's gonna be really nice. Tracking shot. Didn't even need the reminder. Look at me go. Thank you, though, chat. You were on it. 100 kills! Look at that! Yay! A fragment. A glistening shard of memory. Be gone, shot! Do, 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 Please die. Thank you. Your run ends at 2,410 kills. Holy shit. Well done. Well done, Doc. Good luck repeating that now that the patch is hit. It's still all the same. Well played. There it is. Doo, 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 doo. Oh my god. These damn stealth characters up front have been so annoying. Music right now is a banger. You know it. Yep, 200 kills, you get a new effect called Reflection that is going to be shitty. It'll be real bad. Love the dodge. Love the dodge. Tit for tat. Eh, not too bad. That's actually going to play really well into our repost here. Hopefully I can get a finisher on these guys. Another buff, why not? I'll go for the group heal here too. The wounds of war can be healed, but never hidden. 
Yeah, I think I'm gonna go as far as I can for this one, Restructurer, and then we'll probably do the uh, MDG Arena buff at the end. Or not the buff, the, uh, the bounty. Maybe one stress heal back there. Ah, shit. And yeah. I don't think I need the stress heal. Let's give him a big one. Welcome to the bear pile. Man bear fig! Welcome to the bear pile, man bear fig. Thank you very much for your subscription. Bear hugs, please, in the chat. Thanks for using Twitch Prime, my friend. You gone! Actually using it for once. No more repost that round though, unfortunately. Let's try to get the kill. She can't stop critting, baby. And I think I can probably Dirk Stab here. Threw a little bit of that guard. Nice. Well played. This will advance us with the melee here. Let's go like that. Ah, damn it. Later on, Dark Shadow. Nice for hanging out. That's good. They, were, they are targeting the wrong goddamn guy. There we go. And that's what I've been needing. Don't need to reset that. Although I could try to get the crit from that. Eh, it's worth it. Okay, that's fine. We got two reposts here. It should be enough on all three of them. If they target the right people. There we go. Ooh, close. Oh, actually, yeah, that's enough, right? <laughs> okay, there we go. Repost! Damn it. No help. Okay. Time to play everybody's favorite game show. What's that, boss? Grandpa Bear, what boss do you think it's gonna be? Welcome to the bear pile. Grandpa Bear, that's not very funny. That's your daughter you're talking about. It's kinda messed up. Sereno! Welcome to the Bear Pile. Thank you very much for your Twitch Prime subscription. I appreciate that. Enjoy your badge and emotes, buddy. Shambler, Necromancer, the Croc Boy, Collector. It's me. It's going to be Zavon Stakhanov. All right, let's find out. <laughs> An open door. He parts and times unknown. Woo! Man, oh, this is gonna be. This is gonna be fun. This is gonna be a hoot. Yippee. No, oh, no stun. Oh, well. Yeah, this is supposed to be a boss. Really, it's just kind of a given. You dead, you got almost no backline hit. You think so? Let's find out. He's the boss of the nerds. One down. Uh, try again. Ah, man. You know what? I'm gonna defend the Jester. I'll repost all day. Yeah, we got Finale too, and I'll probably just end up using it because it resets anyway. Fuck you! Yet, yet again, how many times must we teach you this lesson, old man? I feel it's infinite. Ooh, shit. I think I'm going to go ahead and go for another Duelist Advance here, though. The crits! 
Let me heal him up. And we'll go for the crush there. Oh wait, no, he's got, yeah, one more round of repose. Let's do this. Resetting his guard. Very effective move. I should probably kill her. Ha! <laughs> oh Welcome man. To the bear pile. Tabo Tabu! Welcome to the bear pile. Thank you very much for your subscription with Twitch Prime. I appreciate it. Enjoy your badge and emotes, buddy. Oh, I got the extra crit chance on him too. Where's my crits? There they are. Just found the precipice of oblivion in WoW. Nice. Oh, baby. All right, we're looking at the finale next. Crappy, it's going real good. I'm very happy. Come on now. Oh, you know what? We're sticking back. We're going to let him finish this puppy off. Right here and now, baby. Ooh, that bodes well. Finale! A predator is often blind to its own peril. Stay hydrated, folks. Stay hydrated. A fragment. A glistening shard of memory. Mine. Everyone gets a swing. Oh boy. Alright. Swap them around. Uh, let's do one more wave. That sounds like fun. Do, 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 do. By one more wave, I mean one more wave set. The thing I'm most excited about is the fact that they're no Welcome longer going to make to us go through five or six waves at a time prior to getting to the end bosses. I'm really looking forward to fighting more bosses in the endless run. Yeetrium! Thank you very much for your subscription, my friend. Welcome to the Bear Pile. Tim the Pyromancer! Thank you for your sub as well. Enjoy your badge and emotes. Thank you for the double sub, y'all. Appreciate it. Get him cozy, chat, please. Welcome them on in. Retribution. Retribution crit right here. Right here. It's coming up. Oh, man. Can the rewards go higher yet? I don't think so. I think Wondrous is as high as you can get. The with a king's ransom. All right. Yep. our only choice. Sounds like it was composed by a guy stuck in the folds of space-time for a few months. It sounds like he friggin' nailed it then. Right on the money. Welcome oh shit! To the bear pile. Madman! Living up to his name once more, the triple gifted sub. More bear hugs, please. Welcome. To the bear pile. So many bear hugs. For three new members of the pile. Can be healed, but never hidden. Mathis Denice. Starfy Welcome Dusty. To the bear pile. And Bressum. Welcome all three of you. You did you did indeed warn us, Madman. Thank you. Thank you for sharing the love again. Oh baby! The actual literal madman, yes. Oh my god, it's just perfection. Absolute perfection, this squad. Loving it. Full buffs, full heals. And the crit heal on the one person with stress. My goodness. What can they do? They can hope that I don't crit. More or less.
Well, that's not a good way to hope. Momentary abatement. Everything's coming up, Bear Taff. One more round of repose. Let's see that. Giving them buffs. Welcome to the Bear Pile. Madman! Gifting another sub to Sathaj Sil. Sathaj, welcome into the Bear Pile. Thank you for your presence, I suppose. I should really again thank Madman. Thank you for the generosity once more. Oh, that's bad. All right, we'll apply a debuff or a, an herb and a bandage there. One hit point away. Holy fucking shit! So good! No need. Keep it up. Give him all the help there. Another crit heal. I don't have to reset this, but I think I will. Actually, I did have to reset that. That was just one round. I was lying to you. Bam, ba bam. They just keep doing it, man. I gotta guard this jester eventually. It's the only big problem. Yikes. Alright, big heal for you coming up. <laughs> Jesus, the reflection of damage, though. Yeah, baby! What would you do if the narrator were the boss and you beat the game there? I mean, spoilers, but... I've had some experience with that. Don't have to retribute. Or retribution this time. There we go. Crits on crits on crits. Oh, that's not good. Might actually have to do a stress heal next. Another duelist advance. There we go. Mm-hmm. Stun her more than likely. Perfect. Okay. Bear, I love you to death, but fuck you times a thousand for being the uh, fanatic. to the bear pile. <laughs> Sorry, pal. Suspect! Welcome to the Bear Pile. Thanks for some of the Twitch Prime. Appreciate it. Thank you very much for your support. Crit! That's for you. That's all yours. No more stress. No more stress for us. Oof! That's bad. Damn it. Missed twice. Jeez. I should be ported out after this. I think I'm going to go ahead and let that bleed. But the crit heal, no less. Yeah, I think I'll be okay. Holy shit. Let's try to carry over our buffs to the next wave. I grunt like a bamf. That's right, yeah. Didn't forget trinkets today. Nope, I'm good. I'm a smarty pants. Miss. How do you keep missing? I guess I did say miss. You hit. There you go. That's what we need. Stack the bleed, though. Shit. All right. I'll have to bandage that. It's too bad. Existence folds in on itself. And that's a big amount of stress to have to deal with. Five crystals. Oh, boy. All right. Still got our jester finale. Let's keep going. On solid ground once more. Mm. Is there any benefit to the heroes who went into the darkest dungeon? Yeah, so those heroes will add a resolve experience bonus to everybody else that they go with. So that's why uh, Soltek is currently applying a resolve experience bonus to all three of these guys. Of course, we're in the farmstead right now, so that's not going to make a difference, but that's what it does. Hey, Soltek, speak of the devil. You going, you're uh, doing pretty well for us here. Took you into DD1, now we got you in a farmstead run. Nice rhyme, Bear, thank you. Bear, stop folding existence, you'll break it. But how else am I going to explain to you how a wormhole works? 
without using a piece of paper and a pencil and stabbing through it. I have to fold existence. It's the only way it makes any sense. With real worms! Brilliant! I never thought of that! By bending over. I don't know if that's gonna explain how a wormhole works. We could try it. Keep them up, keep them up. And let's do a stun again. Crits all day. Full stack of Battle Ballad. Mm, yeah, we gotta do that. I died, rip, rip Indie Mouse. Press after pay, respects to Indie Mouse. He's dead. Oh, Jesus. There we go. Miss. Okay. I need to say it with confidence. Obviously. <laughs> the game doesn't respond when I'm... When I'm indi unsure, when I'm indecisive. Do that. I thought that was the memory I could use for a second there. Uh, no, let's just keep doing this. Press X to not give respects to Indy. Wow, rude, but optional, I suppose. Need to be overconfident there. Yeah, clearly. Clearly that works. Mm, should I? No. Just keep leaving that guy with one health. That's the way to go. Yo, double kill. Double nat kill. Where's the Halo narrator? Na the, the Halo narrator. Double kill. Yup. Hey, Iron. How are you? Miss it. See, I was fairly more confident. Slightly better. Yes. Easy. Everybody topped off. This is a full health, zero stress team once more. Oh my goodness! Unbelievable! It's a rarity in the fevered pitch of battle. One more here. Let's try to actually do something that matters with that one. Because he's just going to die to everything anyway. Oh, baby! Get that repost reset. All the crits. All day long. Nope! No bleed for you, buddy. Ah, oh, that's inconvenient. Oh, it's really inconvenient, damn it. Fine. Anti-venom. Move back. Move back. Move back. Move back. Move back. These crates are indeed bonkers. Indeed, Jabali. Yeah, I've been doing a lot more uh, streaming in the morning time from the instruments pause, from my time zone anyway. But the symphony will soon continue. So glad he could be here. All right, one more wave prior to the boss here. Let's make sure we're good. I think we're set. All right, onward. Splendorous! Ding, 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 ding. Maybe one stress heal there. Has no dominion here. Perhaps. Yeah, let's do it. Just in case. Well, for 21 feels good. Mm-hmm. You're only up to, like, episode 20 on YouTube. Oh, you're getting spoilers, buddy! 
Luckily, we're in the endless mode right now, though, so it's not too much. Try the virtue cheese. I mean, we're not even close to a check on anybody. I'd rather just keep this going. A renewal. Oop, hold on. Lord Sendo! Every time I think I catch up on YouTube, I have to work, then return to find several two to three hour episodes. We've been on our grind, baby. Happy to hear folks are working through the backlog. Thank you. It's been fun to get back into Darkest Dungeon again. Oh, that's going to be good. Oh, wait, no, that's terrible. I forgot. There's no actual damage. I'm going to give him a heal. I'm a little worried about that. And then full repost here. Let's do uh, let's do a command. Much better. Oh, come on. At least he's dodged quite a bit. Nice. Very, very good. Oof. Tit for tat again, and I'm burning through these anti-venoms. I think I will use another one, though. Silver Knight! Goodness, man. 55 months in a row for Silver Knight. Well played, buddy. I get several bear hugs for the longtime support of Silver Knight. I appreciate that. Oh, fucking course. Die. The hero we all deserve. Silver Knight, thank you. to do it. Prior to the Blight as well, that's good. How about another one? Nice. Almost there. It's almost a whole year, my goodness! Grape shot again? Tempting. I gotta get the repost up, though. His is good. Probably just a crush. See if I can get a crit. Oh, damn. Ooh, maybe. Yeah, baby! Made the wrong decision there, little lady. Ooh, here's another one to fuck up. Point blank. Uh, I'm gonna heal. A momentary abatement. There we go. Now we do this. Uh-huh. Oh, God. Oh, worst case scenario there. Nice. Rabies time. No, thank you. Although we are boosting accuracy quite a bit, so I wouldn't really mind that too much on anybody else. Of course, the friggin' Vestal is the one that did actually get it. I'm gonna let that go. I'll probably just end up group healing here anyway, since the Vestal can't do anything. A momentary abatement. Good God. Boost it up. Okay. Oh, Jesus. Woof. That's a good start. Same deal. And, uh, yeah. The best Spelunky video Bear ever did was when he didn't have a mic, but he just edited text on the video and he was actually good at the game. <laughs> the best video Bear ever did was when he didn't say anything. It's when he shut the hell up. And just let words do the talking. I agree. That was the peak of my content. Yep. I'm not gonna stun you again, but I can probably crit you. Oh. The wounds of war can be healed, but never hidden. What else are words for? Yeah, I guess. Mmm. Yay. Ha! 
how did we do more damage with the repost? Plus the reflection. Oh, wow. That's just broken. Purely absurd. Point blank shot for 40. Do it. All right. Anticipating a finale. Oh, yes. Or maybe just a repose kill. Close. Oh, I took the full brunt of that, though. And I'm teleported. Time to play everybody's favorite game show. Guess that boss! What's gonna be? What's it gonna be? Could it be another collector? Probably. It's almost guaranteed to be another collector. The crew, the siren, Wilbur. Gotta be the cannon. Wilbur! It'll be the final boss of the day here, folks. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, end this darkest dungeon portion of the stream, regardless of where we end up with this. And uh, I'm gonna toss on a Magic the Arena, or Magic the, the, Magic the Gathering Arena bounty for the final hour of the stream. So, would certainly appreciate y'all tuning in for that as my viewership requirements for these bounties has skyrocketed for some reason. So, need all the help I can get in that regard. But uh, anyway, let's go ahead and finish off this darkest dungeon portion right here. Find out what our boss is. Splendorous. How is how does this keep happening? What the hell? In time and space. I am blessed. I am blessed in my boss encounters. Clearly, I don't understand it. Fierce, terrible, nightmare made material. But fuck it, I'll take it. Thank you. Speedrun Necromancer fight. Let's go. How many times, old man, etc., etc.? Yes. <laughs> bless him. Go ahead and bless him then. I've been watching, uh. I bet this is gonna be a pretty niche thing. But I've been watching Hard Knocks on HBO. Jarvis Landry's in my head. Bless him! Go ahead and bless him! There might be like zero people that understand that. You know what? That's okay. That's okay. Oh, perfect. Come on. One dodge. We got one though. And he brought a general in. Cool. Yay! Oh, I should ballot. Big boy coming to play. Jarvis gonna take that young kid under his wings. There you go, Gorum. Someone's with me. Someone's watching it. He's gotta help out that young rookie. Gotta keep him on the up and up. Ah, oh, let's see. Am I still gonna repose? I think so. I don't think my plan has changed. I was trying to speed run him, but I guess I'm not doing that now. Booyah! Ow! Weakened. Yeah, definitely. Okay. Oh my god. Um, I got a finale. For sure. Ooh, okay. That's interesting. I wonder if he's gonna move back. I got two rounds of that. Let's do a uh, boost. Okay. That's good. He did move back. Okay. I figured. That guy's almost dead from the repose damage. I say we go ahead and do that. Nice. Beautiful. Okay, big finale shot. Here we go. 57%. Come on! Damn it! That's still pretty good, though. Risky, but I'm doing it. I'm depending on him not needing any more healing. Which I was wrong to do, but holy fuck, that was good. Wow. 
I can still crush him from back there. Holy water up. Do it! One more thing to deal with. Perfect! Love it. There it is. I should heal. I should heal. I'll get the kill no matter what. I should stress heal too, yeah, why not? A bit greedy, but I'm assuming he's gonna act first. And he did. Hooray! With no living sinew to actuate them, will these walking bones finally fail? Uh, everybody wave goodbye to the tall man. Bye! Trapped in a blasphemous approximation of reality. Yay, we did it. We'll eat. A moment of respite. Sure. A chance to steel oneself against the coming horrors. And I'm gonna take the same buffs again, I think. There we go. Cool. Alright, good stuff. That is gonna conclude this endless run here today, y'all. But as I mentioned, I'm gonna go ahead and make the switch over to MTG Arena. And this is a paid sponsored bounty provided by the Twitch bounty board. So, just FYI, does benefit me greatly if you guys uh, stick around and uh, watch this as well. Certainly would appreciate it. We're going to...